It's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center, and time for another Nature to Go. This week, we're talking about a fall favorite insect. Yeah, that's right. It's the woolly bear caterpillar, also known as a woolly worm or a fuzzy bear caterpillar or even a hedgehog caterpillar. These guys are very common as we head into fall. You see them crawling around underneath the leaves and they're a predictor of what the winter is supposed to be like. That's what people have claimed since colonial times. But is there any truth to their ability to predict the upcoming winter? Woolly bears are black at the front and at the end. And in the middle, there's a brown band. How wide the brown band is, is supposed to determine what your winter will be like. A lot of brown means a mild winter. Less brown means a more severe winter. A woolly bear that looks like this, with some black at the beginning and a wide black end, would imply that there's going to be a mild beginning to the winter, but the end of winter will be much more severe. So is there any truth to this? In the 1940s, the uh, Dr. Curran, who was the curator of insects at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City, decided to test it out. He went to a nearby state park and collected as many woolly bears as he could find and measured that middle band. He did this for eight consecutive years. And based on how wide the band was, he predicted that the winters would be mild, which is what happened. And that's why people nowadays kind of promote this idea of woolly bears telling us what the winters are going to be like. Now, most scientists agree that it wasn't a big enough set of data to really accurately tell you this. And the more they've studied woolly bears, the other thing that they found out about them is that the colors change as the caterpillars grow over the season. Now they overwinter as caterpillars and then the next spring they pupate and come out as an Isabella moth. The older they get, the more that the brown shows up. So how much brown there is on a caterpillar actually does more to tell us what the previous winter was like than what the upcoming winter was like. Because if it was a late spring, the caterpillar didn't have as much time to grow, and so there'd be less brown. So woolly bears don't necessarily tell us what the winter will definitely be like, they're just telling us it's time for winter because if you're seeing lots of woolly bears around, they're heading to safety for the winter. They're gonna go find a spot where they can hunker down because they know the temperature's changing. We just don't know how extreme those temperature changes will be. Get outside, look for woolly bears. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go and we'll talk to you again next time.